three things that I make by hand for my ships. One is a very small dinghy with some oars. I make a treasure chest using a quarter inch uh, square dowel rod and then a quarter inch round dowel rod. And I make a treasure chest and fill it with gold. And then I make swords and knives. And I use a real thin strand of copper that's just from an old electrical cord. I just strip off the wire and then just take those small strands combined with a brass wire. You can pick this up at, a, at any craft uh, shop, craft store. So let's tackle the, uh, the knives first. Those I really enjoy, and there's some specific things that you do. So I'm going to cut off a little section of this, longer than what I need, and I'll show you how I make it. The first part is to take the brass and get a knife or sword edge to it. And I just put on my um, vise. There's a flat metal surface here. And pound it till it's flat. Okay, next is to wrap the copper. So take the brass and the copper. I'm actually holding the copper in this hand, then going down all the way to the edge of this blade and wrapping around. You want a tight, tight wind, and you can push them together. I'm going to make a little handle. I'm going to continue the wind on the back side. Kind of get the idea. It's kind of hard to do on camera, but I'll uh, show you some of the finished product here in just a minute. That gives you an idea how I make them. Here are three examples of the swords that I made. And you get better with time. The more you do it, the better you'll get. And you do clip off the excess wire and then just put a drop of super glue or tacky glue at the edge of the handle to hold them together. And that's it on the knives. Treasure chests are made with a combination of both square and round dowel rods, some paper sack, some glitter, and stain. The first step is to make the top of the treasure chest. So I take a round quarter inch dowel rod, put it in this vise, and I've got a little hand saw here, and what I'm gonna do is just kinda try and cut it in half as best I can. So what I'll have is two halves of this round dowel rod. Okay, from these two pieces, you can see one's a lot smaller than the other, I will use the larger one. And it's okay if it's a little beat up and marked, that makes it even better. Next, put it the flat side up. I'm just going to cut out a little space in there so it looks like the inside of a trunk. sandpaper. Doesn't have to be perfect. You want it to look rough and rustic. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the, uh, the square. I've already done some of it because I make these in a series. So You can also use a drill as long as you're the right size, you know, small enough.
Okay, I've trimmed this off and I've just made a little divot in there. It doesn't need to be real deep. You're just going to put glue in there and some gold coins. So I've trimmed this off. Next is to get the round part of the dowel rod. And I've already measured these and cut them so they're just, you know, pretty much the same. And this will function as your lid. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and stain these. So I'm going to dip it in the stain. We're going to let it sit a little bit. Both parts. I'm going to let that sit because the dowel rods don't um, accept stain very well. This is the beginnings of my treasure chest but I need some leather straps to hold it together and what I'm going to use is a piece of paper sack. So let me cut these strips so I can show you how I use those. I've got a pretty nice straight line here so I'm going to cut this about as thin as I can. I'm going to go ahead and stain this and it will come out very dark. Cut those dry and you can even when they're st it's still wet we can go to the next step. Okay, now I'm going to take that brown paper sack and I'm going to glue it around the treasure chest. So I'm going to start on the bottom and end on the bottom. We're going to let this dry and then we're going to cut just the front of it so the lid can remain open. Okay, the next step is very carefully take your exacto knife and cut right where that seam is going to be. Once that's done, you can see I have a little miniature treasure chest. The back side is the hinge. And what we want to do is make it so it stays open. I found this at Walmart and these are little discs as opposed to a powder. I put some glue in. Open the lid up some more. There we go. And now I can just pour some of those gold coins. And as you can see, A little treasure chest of gold. That's all I have time for today, so I'll make another video that covers how to age and darken metal parts. Uh, that can be anchors and chains, things like that. Because you can buy a pretty inexpensive chain and even some uh, sea paraphernalia, medallions and things like that, but they're always uh, high gloss and you want something to look like it's old and almost rusted. So I can show you that technique in my next session. Thanks for watching.